stop. Don't go anywhere too fast. It's time to listen to a Head Over the Footy podcast. Hello and welcome to another episode of Head Over the Footy. It's episode 21. Yeah, we're pumping along here very nicely. And let's get into it. It's round 11 coming up. We're not too far away from the buy rounds and the ladder is really taking shape at the moment. Plenty of th- spots up for grabs this week. Um, from 6th to 10th, all teams are on 24 points. So it is game on and... With me here today to preview it is Will Faulkner from Fox Footy. How are you, Fawkes? Yeah, good. Thanks, Maxi. Pleasure to be here. Great to have you on, mate. Um, now, let's start off. We've got Bulldogs taking on Sydney on Thursday night. This is going to be a cracking game here. Uh, it's in Melbourne. The Bulldogs have won two on the trot. Sydney's first on the ladder. What do you? How do you see this one playing out? Tough one. Very big win from the, uh, the Dogs over the weekend against GWS. I think Sydney just... Just, yeah. I, th- I think just. I think the Dogs have proven now they've found their consistency across the last two weeks that they were missing throughout the season. And um, I think they'll make a big big statement, but I think the Swans take it just. What about yourself? Yeah. Well, um, I think it'll be a cracking game. Um, both teams coming off a fair... Well, two wins in a row for the Bulldogs. Swans have only lost one game this season. I think... The Swans do all right at Marvel when they play there. So I think they'll get the job done in this one. Um, maybe a contender for the top three games of the round. We will give you our top three games of the round uh, at the end of the episode. So let's just continue going through them. And I tell you what, this game is a contender for a top three game of the round. It's the Frio Dockers who have won. They won last week over Saints. They're in good form. Um, they haven't lost in Melbourne Frio this season. They've won three of their games in Melbourne. Uh, anyway, this game's in Perth. They're taking on Collingwood. Collingwood are depleted. I don't know how they're winning games at the moment, Collingwood, because they've got so many players out. Their forward line is pretty much a VFL side, <laughs> bar a few players. But what do you think in this one, Forks? Frio hosting Collingwood. I'm going to keep it short and sharp. Frio, I think they're going to win. Uh, I'm not going to hold myself accountable with tipping come Thursday. Uh, I'm, it's a tough game to tip. I, I think Frio, though. I think they obviously... For uh, external circumstances, it was a pretty tough game for them against Sydney the other week um, after Cam McCarthy's passing, which is yeah. very sad. But even if you look at that game, they still had a lot of scoring shots on goal. They just couldn't convert. Oh, right, I, yeah. I think it's a matter of time before it all clicks in front of goal for them. And even if we saw on Saturday against St Kilda, you flip that scorecard around from 8 goals 20 to 20 goals 8 or 8 goals 18 to 18 goals 8, it's going to be a big difference. So I'm tipping for her to come in soon. I think, I think they'll win. Yeah, their goal kicking has been poor, which... They need to work on. But, yeah, I think uh, Frio to win. I I tipped um, Adelaide to beat Collingwood, which didn't happen. Um, The Pies just got over the line in that one. But, yeah, with the injuries, I think Frio will win. Mm -hmm. That game's on Friday night. It's a standalone Friday night game. Um, And Frio will be wanting to really make amends because, obviously, they had that Friday night game a few weeks ago. They struggled. They didn't win. Tough circumstances with the passing of Cam McCarthy, as you mentioned. Um, but they'll be wanting to do their fans a real, you know, favour here and really pump them up. So I think they'll win Frio. Maybe not a top three game of the round. We'll see. Carlton, Gold Coast. This one's in Melbourne. Uh, what about this one, Forks? Carlton. They've got to get back on the horse soon. They've had a really tough run with teams. Gold Coast, obviously, in flying form, but they probably get brought back down to reality a little bit coming back to Melbourne. And they're not in Darwin anymore with their favourable favorable Favourable conditions. Yes. So I think Carlton get this one done and get back on the horse yourself. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you there, Forks. I think yeah, this game, 145 on Saturday, uh, Melbourne time, I'm going with Carlton to win. Um, I think they'll bounce back for mm-hmm. sure. North Melbourne taking on Port Adelaide. This one is at Marvel Stadium. Oh, no, it's, nah, it's in Tassie. Blunston, yeah. It is in Tassie. Uh, <laughs> well, Port almost lost to Hawks. Tassie... Uh, North Melbourne are good in Tassie when they play there. Let's see. Port, they lost to... They just beat Port, uh, Hawks by a point. They, oh, well, they had a good win over Geelong the week before. I'm worried about Port in this one. Yeah, I can you reckon it's a danger I, game? I, I, like, I like North. I think North are not far away from their first win of the season. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really going to depend on sort of the tall forwards for Port, which they have. They've got Mitch Georgiades, Dixon. They'll all be playing. Jim Marshall. Mason Marshall. So if they're all playing, I think they win. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the North will get their win, 
when they're playing against a team that don't have tall forwards, like the Cats, with Hawkins out, Jeremy Cameron out, you know, maybe maybe that's a game North could yeah, win. Wow. But uh, because North are giving away too many marks inside 50, that I think that's a huge factor in their game. Mm-hmm. If they can reduce that, they win, they'll win. they win. They'll win a game. But they're not going to do it this week on tip in Port. Uh, who you got for this one? Port. There you go. Geelong, GWS. This one is at GMHBA. What do you think for this one, Forks? It's going to be a very good game. I dare I say that's going to be the top three game of the round, Maxie. Mm. Um, yep. Oh, jeez. This, this is a real 50-50. I, I'm going to say GWS, I think. Yep. From memory, I think they won down there last season, if not the season before, against the Cats. Yes, I think they did. Yep. Yeah. Maybe last year. So they've got a track record of being able to get it done. I'm going to go Giants. That's two in a row that the Cats are going to lose at GMHBA if that happens. Rare. Very rare. <laughs> yeah. what, what, do you, what do you reckon? Uh, it depends on Cameron and Hawkins. Are they playing? They should be. Hawkins Ca- will. Cameron should, I think, as well. Okay. Should. I'm going to go with... Oh, this is tough. It's tough, isn't it? How many have Gold Coast lo- uh, GWS lost in a row? One, two, three. Yeah, three. They've lost three in a row. So have the Cats. The Cats have lost four in a row. Is that right? This is a belter of a game. I'm tipping the Cats. I'm going to tip the Cats. Good. Richmond Essendon. This is another good one. Um, what do we think for this one? I think, oh, well, sorry. I say good one. Traditionally, it's a good match. It's a big game. Is this the Dreamtime game? Yes, it is. It yes. is. Yep. So I think normally it's a good game, but yeah, the way Richmond's going at the moment, I'm going with the Bombers. I'm flagging this one, Maxi. I flagged it. Flagged it? Uh, yeah, I'm flagging this one. I flagged the uh, yeah. West Coast game with Melbourne with a mate of mine. I'm, flag- flag- I'm flagging this one with you right now, Richmond Essendon. They are absolutely depleted, Richmond, but they have a record of just being able to pull games <laughs> out of nowhere. And I know this is a very... It's a bit of an off-the-cuff comment, but it wouldn't surprise me if they won. Yep. Well, guess what? I tipped Richmond to beat Swans in round Did you? three. Yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, yeah, just about the only bloke in the country. <laughs> Who's got a right tip with Richmond tip. this year, yeah. <laughs> nah, I, I, I think Essendon win, but I, same way that I said, I, th- I, th- I thought Melbourne would win last night. They didn't. But I thought Red, uh, West Coast were red-hot crack, and I'm going to say the same with this one here. You're giving yourself a good fallback there. Yeah, double-edged sword. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of insurance there. Um, Hawthorne Brisbane on Sunday. That'll be at Marvel, I'm guessing. Uh, or the MCG. I'll double check for it. Should be at the. Oh, it's at Marvel. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brisbane get that one done. I think pretty comfortably. Oh yeah. I don't know about comfortably. I'll say Brisbane just. Mm-hmm. Uh, Melbourne St Kilda. This one's on Sunday at three twenty. And that one will be at the G. That's why I reckon. That's why yeah. that uh, yeah. other one's not. Um. I reckon Melbourne come out and beat the Saints comfortably as well. I think in this one, I'm going to say Melbourne win. Melbourne's got a better midfield and Saints are struggling in their midfield. I think Melbourne won't point. Really? Close one. Yeah, okay. I reckon it'll be a little bit uh, further. I reckon 30 plus. Because Saints are three and seven and it could be 30 plus, but the Saints are three and seven. They're 15th. They have to. They fourteenth. They are. They have to win to stay in contention for the top eight. Yeah, so big game. For yeah, them. it's a huge game. I just think like Melbourne, like Melbourne, like a lot of other clubs that they, they just need to click. Like they've sort of had a, a weird couple of weeks. And as I was saying, uh, I've said previously, teams have come back into the fold. Like everyone's sort of sitting with each other. I think Melbourne's one of those teams that needs to just like they're due for a click, and I think it will come in the form of a, a win against St Kilda quite comfortably. Yeah. Okay, we'll see how that plays out. Last game. Adelaide West Coast. This one will be at Adelaide Oval. Um, I think the Crows win. Adelaide's first look at Harley Reid. That'll be exciting for a few fans. Um, mm. I think Adelaide win. I, I don't think it'll be a smashing nor a close game. I think it probably just sits in the middle. Adelaide have a pretty good record over West Coast at Adelaide Oval. West Coast traditionally haven't played it too well. Mm. Um, not just in the last few years, but beyond that. So um, I, I think Adelaide, I think I'm tipping Tex for a few goals as well. He loves lying up against the Eagles. Yeah, big Texan, so I think you'll kick a few. Yeah, I'm going to go the Crows here. I think they'll win by a fair margin. Need this win. They really need this win. Ooh. They've had a couple slip away from them, so yeah, yeah, they'll have a little bit of extra motivation. Yeah, I'm going to go Crows by 30 plus in that one. I mm-hmm. think they'll win. Um, all right, top three games for the round, just quickly. I think number one is going to be Geelong GWS potentially, but let's start at three. 
I think the third best game of the round will be. I think I think uh, I think Bulldog Sydney you got to include. You got to include. I, I think Melbourne St Kilda would be good. I'm gonna go with Bulldog Sydney number three, Melbourne St Kilda number two, and the game of the round it will be Geelong GWS. Wow. We'll see how it all plays out. We'll yeah, see. right. And I wouldn't be surprised. Fourth best game to watch, North and Port. <laughs> best game to watch? Fourth best. Fourth best. Fourth best. Okay. Freo Collingwood, a bit stiff? No, I think Freo will win. Easy. Yeah, right. The other one, I reckon Gold Coast Carlton will be a good game as well. Um, yeah. Under the roof, even conditions. Um, Gold Coast on a form high and Carlton need to come back, so... Yeah, there you go. We've worked out there's a fair few good games. A few duds in there, but there's a, there's a few good games. Yep. And you rate rated Richmond and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Seven. So that one. Yeah, if, if Richmond win, we'll call it a top three game of the round, I reckon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah as we'll much insurance <laughs> as possible, as you said, Maxie. But, <laughs> yeah, nah, it should be all good. Very nice. Well, thanks, Forks. That's uh, round 11 preview for you. Enjoy the round. It's going to be a great one, starting off with Bulldog Sydney and uh, finishing with Adelaide West Coast. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good weekend.